Jay Drone here, what's going on guys? So we just did a flyability test, Tello 1 versus Tello 2, and Tello 2 knocked this out of the air. Um, very slow, very docile, optical flow is the only thing this has going for it with this, and again, we have a controller with this, no controller with this. We're gonna go ahead and fly the rest of the battery on this, just to show you a full flight review of this drone as far as flyability goes. So we're gonna go ahead and hold this, and then let go you have green lights blinking in the front it's looking to be bound you're gonna press this button you're gonna throttle up and throttle down and we have a steady light there we should have steady greens in the front uh, you can do a down and out and uh, that'll start the motors this is an altitude hold drone you can do a one key takeoff one key landing we have uh, your flip button which will test we have three different speed rates we also have headless mode and one key return which it's not gonna work like GPS it's gonna come back on a base heading so I'm not gonna do the one key takeoff we're gonna go down and out and we're gonna go up very smooth I'm almost positive the motors are identical to uh, that Tello uh, the blades I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably gonna put Tello blades on this because the blades are definitely better on the Tello we're just gonna fly this down here I'm actually gonna get out into this air over here and in the first rate, it's able to deal with this wind. You can see, uh, you can see the trees moving around. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the second speed rate. You can see we gain considerable pitch. It's able to hang in this wind. The Tello was too surprisingly, uh, but again, it was very docile. You can't, you couldn't buzz around like this. Uh, you couldn't counter. And we're gonna go ahead and th throw it in the third speed rate. Third speed rate. Look at this, y'all. Okay, whoop, throw the brakes on. <laughs> the yaw is insane on this. And with the wind pushing against it, me trying to gain my orientation, that's what happened there. Um, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can, yep, there we go. You can do a hand takeoff with it just by the one key uh, lift up button as long as you have it in your hand but here let's get this down um i want to show you this y'all look at that and then gain your orientation when you stop yawing it is going to turn a little bit so you need to keep that in mind it's going to continue yawing it's definitely a flyer it's having zero issues with this wind and it's cutting through it like butter so for a small drone like this that's rather impressive and ah, we're down be careful with that y'all if you don't need to be in the third speed don't be in the third speed because uh you might crash like uh myself especially in wind if i was in a wide open area as opposed to being right next to a tree i probably wouldn't be crashing but again we're gonna do a hand takeoff just by bam and here if you don't go full yaw it won't go full yaw if that makes any sense but if you hold all the way over it's going to go into that marigold round spin which i absolutely love but i got to be in a wide open field to actually be able to work that whoa easy there there we go there we go it's definitely a flyer So I've dubbed this the Tello 2. It has no association with DJI or the Rise Company. Uh, I've dubbed it the Tello 2 because this has all the makings to be the Tello 2. If uh, if they put the optical flow on this, it actually might inhibit the flyability of this. So maybe that wouldn't be a good thing. But uh, if they put the image stabilization in the camera, dude. Yeah, you'd have an epic drone and it'd probably be cheaper than the Tello if we keep that optical flow off of it. If you put the optical flow on it and you got a $99 drone with a dedicated controller that you don't have to go try to buy two to three controllers before you find a compatible one. Um, that was a huge fail on their part. Uh, as far as, let's see here, easy there. Bamzo, gain my orientation and we are back. We are back. As far as the altitude hold, it works really well. This is an extremely smooth flyer. We're gonna go. We're just controlling the left to right because we have uh, wind, but it's maintaining altitude very well. These little antennas on the top—they they don't have wires going into them. There's no reason to put them up unless you want to try to look cool. 
but uh, they're not functional. The antenna itself is actually in the controller. Here, whoop, bring it back, bring it back. Try to show you that, y'all. There's the y'all, insane y'all. And then you gain your orientation either by knowing what's front or back, the back has writing on it, the front has LEDs, or looking for those green LEDs. There's no LEDs on, uh, damn. You can't fly the tele like this. You absolutely cannot. So as far as funability and flyability, yes, I said funability, yes, I said flyability. Um, this, this wins, dude, it wins hands down. And if anybody wants to try to argue with me with that, dude, look at the video. Look at the past, look at the last video that I actually made. We're gonna go ahead and try some flips in the wind. It might not turn out too well, but let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna press the flip button. Bam, clean barrel roll. And we're gonna gain altitude again. It dropped altitude because it was flipping into the wind. This one's probably gonna gain altitude. Nope, it's, it's dropping. So be aware of that. You wanna be up high enough that this thing has enough time to recover. And we'll do a front flip. And we will do a back flip. Nope, hold on. Maybe it's not letting me because uh, LVC. Generally, whoop, yep. Generally drones will not allow you to flip if the low voltage uh, uh, LVC is on. And you can see that wind, dude. It's having zero issues flying in the wind. We're gonna go ahead and put it in second speed setting. That way I can kind of yaw around and fly this. And as you can see, this is, dude, it, I'm gonna say it's probably 80% more flyable than the Tello. And we are on LVC. Um, I'm not sure what this is gonna do. I'm not sure if it's gonna auto land or if it's just gonna drop out of the sky. I'll continue flying it until, uh, until it does what it does. And if you notice in the front here, let's see all this way. You have the green LEDs blinking. Uh, green LEDs are blinking, and actually you had two of them blinking. Now we have one blinking, so that might be a, a dual LVC sensor where it's giving you a warning, hey, you got limited battery, and now you really have limited battery. But again, we're gonna continue flying. And uh, two batteries, dude. I wanna go inside, I wanna grab the other battery. I can do so with the Tello. They didn't give you two batteries. Um, you're stuck charging on board too. They didn't give you a dedicated charger for the battery. They didn't even give you a proprietary battery charger. They, they want you to charge like you charge your cell phone in body in the Tello. So if that LiPo battery ever fails or explodes, guess what? You just lost your drone. This one, you charge the battery outside of the drone. Um, so if there is any type of LiPo failure, you don't have to worry about your drone. And again, you have two batteries. If one battery gets compromised, you still have another battery. So uh, when, if you're considering the DJI Rise Tello, I would go on Facebook Marketplace. You can find them pretty cheap on there. I'm kind of hovering around myself just in case this decides to drop. Uh, that way we can see what the LVC is doing. Pretty long LVC warning. And I think it's dropping. It did drop. So it's gonna auto land, guys. Um, let's see if we have any more lights on the front here. No, just that one. Your left one, I believe, is your last light. No, they're, they're actually they're both lit. Um, I'm pretty sure only one was lit when we were flying, unless that one LED is pushed up for some reason. I don't know. But uh, there you go, guys. We'll take it back to the tele so you can see the direct comparison between the two, and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I do have another battery. We will be testing the camera on this. Uh, maybe we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison test on that because I didn't draw the battery completely on this. Again, we'll turn that off and let's turn this off so we don't fry the battery, over drain it. 40 and change, you get this. You can fly this out of the box. You have another battery. $99, you get this. That's all you get. <laughs> That's all you get. If you don't have a cell phone, you can't fly this. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, get at me down below. I'll be more than happy to get back at you.